Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Cedric Anthony Faree knew as young as the age of five that he wanted to be a part of the film world after he was captivated by the movie Hulk. So we now know him as the notorious businessman Lahasa on SABC One's youth drama Skim Sam. Let's have a look at some of his work. <laughs> I yeah, welcome to Afternoon Express. So Thank lovely to finally have you here. Thank you so much. I've got to tell you, your character, you know, we, we started the show discussing scamming and stuff, and your character yeah. on Skim Sam, it's so frustrating <laughs> watching you because how has he not gone to jail yet? How does he not get bust or how does his life not get caught up with, like, cut up to him? Because he's, he's always two or four steps ahead of his yeah. enemies. Um, he's advanced like that. He's, yeah. he's, he knows his ways, you know. Um, otherwise, he wouldn't be where he is. Um, so pretty much he's mastered the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was it like when you were first reading for the character? Because, I mean, he's quite a fun character to play. What was your audition like and what was your idea of how the show was going to be? So you never really have an idea. You only have an idea of the current story that they're working on yeah. uh, when, when you're new at the show, you know, pretty much even still now. Yeah. So you don't know where they're going to take the character. Yeah. So the character was initially meant to be there for a few months and then probably leave. But they figured, you know what, we could do more with this character. Totally. You know, and so here we're still here. I mean, when you get the script, you must sometimes just go, oh, wow, he's pushing. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are some of your highlights from the show, like some of your favorite scenes? Some of my favorite scenes are always tapping into his, his emotional vulnerability state, if, yeah. for lack of a better word. <laughs> he, he tends to be this hardcore guy, but he's actually, he's, he's yeah. very soft. A softy. You know, he's, I mean, he's human. Yeah. You know, he feels, you know, he, 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 he gets happy, he gets sad, he cries. Yeah. Um, so so it's, it's pretty, it's always very fun to tap around, you know, exactly. the different traits of this character. So. Well, someone else that's really hard on the outside, but is still mush on the inside, is the incredible Hulk. And I believe <laughs> that was like your guide in life. Yeah, I love, I love, I loved, um, as a kid, um, it's, it's the one thing that just got me captivated. You know, you're seeing this small scrawny guy and then all of a sudden he turns into the superhero. But then the superhero is scary, but you know, yeah. He's still a superhero or green. And, and back then, um, they would use actual buff guys because you know, technology didn't allow for them to do what they're doing now with the Hulk character. Well, you could have definitely have played No, Hulk. I'm small. I, <laughs> I would have needed to be really big. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, pretty much, I was always captivated by that. It's, it's, it's just always been, and that pretty much got me into, you know, loving what I'm doing now yeah. and understanding it better. Yeah. yeah. You're also such a proud father. I mean, I tell me about fatherhood. It's an amazing. It's an amazing journey. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, I didn't expect fatherhood to... Oh, hello, Baba. <laughs> I didn't sure, expect fatherhood so to actually, you know, mold me into becoming who I am today. Um, I love every moment of it. Uh, you know, it's a mini me. I mean, who wouldn't... It just, you just melt when you see somebody who looks just like you who imitates everything you do, follows you around, sees you as their hero. It's, it's always amazing. Yeah. yeah. So on our social media question, we're asking, you know, if there is any way that we could change the world, what would it be? And I think you do such amazing work for the uh, LGBTQI community, yes. and yeah. uh, you, you're very vocal about it. Yeah. Why did you decide to lend your voice to that? Um, I guess it's, it, it wasn't even a, de a decision. I, I just woke up and decided I'm going mm. to, you know, make and 
live my life that way. I've always been a member, I guess, not a, well, an ally of yeah. the LGBTQI community. Me I've always, too, it's so much fun. Yeah, like <laughs> from childhood, you know, I've always had, uh, from my high school days, I've always had friends who were gay, yeah. you know, um, and whenever you walk around, especially growing up in Soweto, you know, it's, it's very harsh yeah. being young, black and gay there because people are just very brutal, sure. you know, uh, are vocal about it and, and, and they will literally criticize you till you feel like killing it's yourself. It's crazy that it's that really, still exists really, really, nowadays. Yeah, it's intense. So, but I'd always be comfortable with my friends, with the friends I've had and, you know, I, I would never be ashamed and I'd never stop being friends with them. It's just now that I've got a platform to leverage on so I feel, yeah. let me just be vocal about, you know, certain things that I don't like. I, I, I think I'm tired of chilling with gay friends and having straight men questioning me why I'm hanging out with them. Sure. You know what I mean? And, and not just straight men and straight women, yeah. you know, and not just even my lesbian friends, you yeah. know. Um, so, so then you just make everything broad and not just focus on, because then I don't want to come across as if I don't care about the other members of the LGBTQI community. Sure. So let's get everybody involved. And I think having straight guys and straight women as allies kind of helps. You exactly. know, it, it, it should make a difference somehow, somewhere. Yeah, well, Gay Pride is coming up in Cape Town, and I think <laughs> the message that is so beautiful that I love is love is love. Exactly. Regardless, True. people should just have absolute ex acceptance exactly. for everybody. Exactly, yeah. Let's just love and live with each yeah. other, respect one another, and stop judging people according to their sexual orientation. Exactly. You know I mean? Thank yeah. you so much for being on the show. Thank you, you for having me. such a breath of fresh air. <laughs> so a great performance is always the best way to set the tone for any weekend. After the break, we chat to musician Morena Laraba. Plus, he performs in the love.